purpose of this video is to show you how to use your precision digital scale to measure DCA. Your scale will arrive in a box. They're all brand new. Simply open the box, remove your scale. There's also an instruction manual that comes with it that you may want to refer to if you have any questions. The first thing you need to do when you get your scale is to remove the piece of plastic inside the battery case. So take the back cover off by pressing down lightly, sliding it a few millimeters and lifting the cover off. You'll see a piece of plastic in there. This piece of plastic protects the batteries from discharging during transportation, which makes sure you get fresh batteries. Simply pull that piece of plastic out, throw it away, reseat the battery back into its place, and reattach the back panel. Now when I open this up, the scale is going to be on because I've just put the battery in. Normally the scale will be off every time you take the front cover off. So set your scale down. What you do is press this button once and that sets the scale to zero. Now you need to measure your DCA onto something. Don't put it directly on the scale. It'll get too messy. Also, the scale can only handle up to 560 grams of weight. So don't use something like a coffee cup or a, a glass drinking cup uh, to measure your DCA in. I recommend that you use the tray that comes with it. Simply set the tray on top of the scale. You'll see the numbers change. It goes up to about 10 grams. Once again, push the button once. The scale will reset to zero. It ignores the weight of the tray. Now what you simply do is take your DCA and put it on the, tr the tray and uh, measure out as much as you want. It's a very important that you measure DCA by weight and not by volume. Volume is how much space something takes up and that's not a reliable and accurate way to measure things. You want to do it by volume. For this example, I'm using plain table sugar as it would be a waste to use DCA uh, as it's, while I'm making this film, it's exposed to oxygen, which is very harmful for DCA. You want to minimize the amount of time DCA is exposed to oxygen. So, simply take a little bit of DCA on a spoon, put it on the scale until you get the proper amount you want. For instance, here's 1.2 grams. Um, that's actually pretty close to the uh, normal dose for, for many people. So, now that you have your DCA, the correct weight that you want, simply take the tray and empty it into a glass of room temperature water. It's very important that you do not use hot water as high temperatures will destroy DCA completely. So, dump your DCA into your cup. Once again, remind you that I'm using sugar for this example as I don't want to waste any uh, valuable DCA. Stir it up in the water and drink it down. DCA ab absorbs um, very, very quickly into water. It's completely clear, it's odorless, it's colorless, and it has virtually no taste. Now you simply drink your water, and that's how you administer DCA. Thank you for your time. Oh, I should add, um, to turn your scale off, you can either just leave it for a few minutes and it'll turn itself off, or you can hold down this button for five seconds and the scale will shut off. One other thing you might want to uh, keep in mind, should you happen to hit the button on the other side of the scale, the button labeled M, that button is used to change the different um, measuring units. By default it starts in grams and you always want to use grams. Each time you hit this button it will change, it goes from grams to ounces uh, and a few other uh, measurement values that you don't use for DCA. Always make sure you see the small g in the top right of the numbers to know that you're measuring grams and not some other unit. And as I said, if you accidentally hit this button, just keep hitting it and it will cycle through until you get back to the gram measurement. Make sure it's always in grams. That's very important or you will not be getting the proper amount of DCA.